in his bid to ensure free, fair, and credible elections in the forthcoming general elections, the Independent National Electoral Commission (INEC) has organized a two-day retreat on media public relations and public speaking techniques for its officials in Lagos. This is a workshop put together by the Independent National Electoral Commission on the need to have an interactive session with media practitioners on how to achieve successful, credible and free and fair election in 2019. The retreat, according to the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakub, will enable INEC officials interact with media professionals on how to achieve good reputation of the organization and professional reportage of the 2019 general election activities. Adding that the workshop will also serve as a platform for capacity development. So we, have, we hope to hear from experienced practitioners on how we can communicate without the message lost in avoidable and necessary controversies. Next is the mode of communication. How do you communicate? I have noted that we are often misquoted when we speak without a prepared text, which is not always possible. I read the reports. Sometimes you, know, you address the media and you go and read the report. You will even see statements attributed to you in between quotation marks. And you wonder, was it the same meeting I attended or something else? We are often better reported when we have prepared texts. Because all they do basically is to copy from the prepared text. But the electronic media has complained that they need both the text or the image as well as the voice. Uh, and so they always need something that they can air uh, beyond just reporting. The print media is okay with the text, but obviously the electronic media would like to see both image and text. The INEC strategic objective on engaging with relevant, relevant stakeholders, ECOS is very proud to support the INEC in organising this retreat aimed at fostering a productive relationship with a very important sector of the society, the media. The interaction with media executives is to serve as a confidence booster that will build public trust and perception of the Commission in the lead up to the 29 general elections. Media practitioners at the event who also served as keynote speakers, stressed on the important roles of the media to image building and good governance. When you talk about reputation, it is not something that happens in a gym. It is a gradient building. It is deliberate creation. It is conscious maintenance and of course, committedly sustained over time. To put it succinctly, media and public relations, just as my colleague uh, Dr. Olayu said, are the most critical and fundamental elements germane for an appropriate, decent, and most valued corporate image for any organization in the modern world, where the news, perception, reputation, and integrity are the simple norm for the attainment of the corporate image objectives of the organization. This is an amplification of the saying that image is everything. You must be in a position to have an information. That's why a journalist is asking you for an interview. Or you are someone that is supposed to be accountable to the public, and that's why he's asking you for an interview. Or you are someone with an authoritative voice, and your voice matters in whatever is being talked about. Part of the workshop was questions and comments session where stakeholders were further enlightened on various media techniques required in achieving good communication. The interviewer continues to go for that. He will try to provide questions. He believes that you are still considering some other details. What should be the attitude? of the event, for example, in such a situation. Thank you. I want you to throw more light on the activities of the social media, which is the new group. At the national level, of course, you have to the number of polling units. In 2019, we are going to conduct elections with 1,000, 
558 constituencies. And I notice also each time I say something simple, it excites uh, some people that the number of days and hours and minutes and seconds to the next general election. But it's a simple information on our mobile phones. <laughs> we should all have this kind of information. So they expect to hear something new from us. Purpose and expectations of the workshop, according to the Chief Press Secretary of the Commission, Mr. Rotimi Lawrence, is to partner effectively with the media and get acquainted with public relations tools in achieving effective election results. This retreat is intended to, among other things, take us through the techniques of engaging productively with the media to achieve our common goals. It also seeks to acquaint us with the importance of public relations and how we can apply the tools to achieve specific objectives. It is a total package, and you have to feel it to believe it. External outcomes include, among others, the ability to partner effectively with the media as we move towards the 2019 general elections. The two-day media workshop is part of INEX vision to train its officials and become one of the best election management bodies in the world.